Hey everyone, welcome back to another modding video. Today I'm just going to give you a little bit of a rundown of what I noticed when updating uh, expanded resources for version 1.6. Now, I do have to warn you, I am not completely done with the updating process, but I do have everything working currently. I just have, as you can see, some errors down here. And what those errors are, are there's some stuff with like under these common technology files that I haven't even um, changed. So I'm not exactly sure what I can do about that. But if you guys see anything that you know how to fix aside from these ones right here, let me know and I will I'll definitely fix it. But let's go ahead and get to the video. So in one of the streams or one of the AMA sessions on Reddit, a Paradox representative said that Man the Guns was fairly easy to mod. So that was pretty exciting for me until I opened up the Man the Guns with expanded resources on and it was it was a little bit difficult. There are a lot of things. I have a list of changes that were necessary uh, for expanded resources specifically and there are 10 big things on here and um, hopefully some of these can point you in the right direction for your mod. So first and foremost, there were a lot of state changes. Um, there was some stuff in Yugoslavia, some stuff in Mexico, uh, some stuff in the Soviet Union. A, a lot of it was like a province would be missing and I had to go back and add it to a state or in some of them, um, provinces were in two states so I had to re remove them from one and uh, basically that would be like this province right here being part of this state and this state. And so I had to pick which state to put it in. Um, so that was kind of a big thing, but that seems to be a trend in a lot of the updates. So that's nothing new, really. The next big thing was technology tags. In my old x-ray folder, if I go here, history states, there were only a couple states that I had to completely replace, but a lot of them were um, modifications to already existing files. So one of the other big things are heavy technology tag changes. So if I go to common technology tags, so right here, there were a lot of changes to these technologies. So what I ended up doing was I just, I only changed this one part right here and right here. So I just deleted my already existing mod file and replaced it from the new game one. Fairly simple change, but uh, it's definitely important to know some of this if you guys have edited some of the technologies in the game. This is going to be a big thing. And technology was actually part of the biggest process for getting this uh, update to work with expanded resources. Another interesting change that was present was there was a change to the research speed modifier. So instead of it, let me bring it up here. So right here, it used to be research time factor, I believe, but they changed it to research speed factor. And that basically edits things like down here where it says research speed. That's what that changes. So that's sort of an interesting change that I would not have expected, but was something that was present. Another big change that happened was that all of the unit files were changed. So if we go to history and units, all of these files were changed and that's because in the new update they now have separated the navy so in our previous file our navies were included in the production and um up here in the the units right but now they're they're separated so i had to go in and just update all of that production for x3 so now You'll notice we scroll down and there are no Navy uh, productions here. So if you edit any Navy productions or any productions in general and you have some changes to this units file, then you're definitely going to have to update all of the files inside of that. Another thing was the construction tab that needed to be changed because fuel silos are now a thing. So in order to do that, I had to change a couple things. I had to change the, the image strip that had all of the building pictures because this fuel silo is new. So when I say the image strip, I mean right here, the strip. I also had to change the under buildings, what icon frame my new building was. And I think 
that was pretty easy to, to change there. I, I think that was the only change on this construction tab. Another thing that needs to be changed is under the research. Now technologies, especially with man the guns, have like a whole different tech name for each ship in general. Because now the game uses hulls with these attachments and it's not just the ship itself. So there were some tech name changes which needed to be edited under our history countries file. Uh, so if we see here, all of these different starting technologies are different with man the guns. And in general, you just want to change these files because a lot of this now has like, if not man the guns, if man the guns, there's a lot of that going on. So I would definitely recommend changing these main country files as well. Another surprising uh, difficult thing for me was this dog picture right here was in the background of the fuel and also it was in these occupied territories uh, images and it was also in the repair queue and what that means is that it can't find the image for like the background so it just places the dog there. So in order to change that I had to go into my interface I had to change two files. I had to replace the general stuff file and I had to replace the production tab file. And that's right here. And the reason I had to do that is the production tab file went ahead and fixed the issue I was having with the repair queue. And the general stuff file fixed this fuel. And I believe it also fixed the occupied territories. Oh, excuse me, the core file fix this occupied territory so this core file also needs to be replaced and another problem I was experiencing with the production tab is that these ships now only have up to 10 dockyards for most of them some have only five so there were some glitches with the backgrounds here as well and that was fixed fairly quickly with a just replacing of the productions file right here and just re-adding what I needed for expanded resources, which was just these units up here. And that was quick and easy for me personally. One of the new additions to Man the Guns is the fuel and the fuel requirements. So if we go to common units, equipment, and let's just click on like these holes are all different. So it used to just say like submarine and destroyer and then things like that. But now because of me and the guns, these are all different. So I had to change these. And then also they now have fuel consumption. So I went ahead and switched out, as you can see, all of these files, anything with fuel consumption needed to be changed out. So I just went ahead and re-added like what was required to manage that equipment and that way I didn't have to mess with any fuel consumption values and that was a fairly quick fix as well but yeah I want to say that's it this did take me a while it took me a couple couple sessions to get all this working um, but I hope my little uh, robust guide here will help you will help push you in the right direction so I think that's about it and uh, I know this was just a chillax video but the cinematic took a lot of my time this week and I know you guys enjoyed the modding content but I am focusing on the cinematics more because that's what I enjoy and I, I did figure that this video would help a lot of you also I want to get this out for you even though it's fairly rushed but that's okay um, I hope you all did enjoy if you have any comments or questions leave them below and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.